In this video, we're going to look at syncing the subharmonicon to both the Mother 32 and the D-Fan. Right now, I have simple patterns saved on all three units. The D-Fan sounds like this. The Mother 32 sounds like this. And the subharmonicon sounds like this. To begin, we're going to look at syncing the subharmonicon to the Mother 32 using the Mother as the master clock. Currently, I have the Mother 32's assignable output set to mode 3, so it's outputting a clock divided by 2. I'm going to patch from the assignable output to the clock input on the subharmonicon. The first thing that you should do is arm the subharmonicon sequencer. You'll notice that the play button illuminates, letting you know it's ready to receive clock. I'm then going to hit the run stop button on the Mother 32, and the two units will play in sync. If I want to reverse this configuration and use the subharmonicon as the master clock, it's a simple procedure. I just need to patch the clock output from the subharmonicon to the tempo input on the Mother 32. I'm going to hit play on the subharmonicon, and then run stop on the Mother 32. Notice the tempo LED blinks green, letting you know it's syncing to an external clock. Now let's look at syncing the subharmonicon to the DFAM. Let's begin by using the DFAM as the master clock. I'm going to take the trigger output of the DFAM and patch it to the clock input on the subharmonicon. We'll once again arm the sequencer and then hit run stop on the DFAM. If I want to once again do the opposite, I'm going to take the clock output from the subharmonicon and patch it to the advanced clock input on the DFAM. I'm going to use the advance button on the DFAM to set the sequencer to step 8, and then arm the DFAM by hitting the run stop button. You'll see the LED illuminate, letting you know it's ready to receive a clock. And then when I hit play on the subharmonicon, the two units will be in sync. To end the video, let's look at syncing all three units together. I'm going to use the subharmonicon as the master clock, and I'm going to patch its clock output to the MULT input on the Mother 32. I'm going to patch the MULT1 output of the Mother 32 to the tempo input on the Mother 32. And then I'm going to patch the MULT2 output to the advanced clock on the DFAM. I'm going to use the advance button to arm the sequencer to step 8. And now when I press play, all three will sync together. So that's how we achieve sync with the subharmonicon and the Mother32 ecosystem.